1946, after returning from World War II, Carl Pagel purchased this 80-acre farm with just a few cows outside Kiwani. Over the next three decades, the farm would grow to 320 acres and 65 milking cows, and with a new name, Pagel's Ponderosa, inspired by Carl's favorite TV show, Bonanza. In 1978, Carl's youngest son, John, took over the farm, and it wasn't long before his kids were busy with chores alongside their father. As soon as I could reach up high enough that I could milk a cow is basically when my life started in dairy farming. Chasing around dad, milking cows, scraping cow manure, pushing up feed. Along with a strong work ethic, John's children also soon learned their dad had an innovative and entrepreneurial spirit. He was always trying to figure out how he could make things better and then what opportunities were out there, what other things can we do to educate people, what can we do to bring more people back to the farm, keep people interested in agriculture. By the late 90s and into the 2000s, the Ponderosa was expanding rapidly with a state-of-the-art rotary milking parlor, nutrient recovery system, flash cooling system, and eventually 5,000 cows milked every day. That's also when oldest daughter Jamie, always a little hesitant to be a farmer, joined the family operation. It just evolved because then we bought another business and then we bought another and then things grew and then dad's like, you know what, we can grow this business and provide for your families and I still wasn't staying forever and then, you know, I was there by his side through it all and we grew together and we had ups and downs and we have great employees and that's why we're here today really because dad did a great job building a legacy for our families but two of our employees have been phenomenal. In 2008, Jamie's husband, Steve, came on board. And dad always loved Steve's work ethic and he just always was trying to get Steve to come to the farm. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if we'll be working together, we'll be living together and you know, so we just, we didn't know if that was the best thing for him and then when he did come it was fantastic because he was a great leader he's very skilled he's very smart he's very educated after acquiring a cheese company and launching their own product line the Pagel family was truly living the dream and sharing their love for farming by offering daily tours hosting field trips and a summer boot camp so you guys all following the directions yeah. there yeah. designed to show youth careers in agriculture but then came February 22nd, 2018. Oh, it was terrible. John and Steve were at a dairy conference in Indiana and set to fly back that evening. That day, Steve and I had talked and laughed and texted back and forth and him and dad were having a great time down there and he was talking about how good it was. And, and then uh, he sent a message texted me, love you and the kids, see you soon. And I was at one of my daughter's events and I, I knew I, we weren't just at our cell phone, so I hurried up and texted, I love you back. And then obviously they didn't make it home. Their twin engine Cessna crashed 20 minutes after takeoff, killing John, Steve, and the pilot. Federal investigators could never pinpoint the cause. The thing I remember the most is uh, when I was with the uh, sheriff and he told me I had to go in and give the information to my sister and her kids that they did not make it. I was very close to dad. I was like his right hand woman and his so yes yeah, so and then I you know my world got turned upside down at home but it got turned upside down here too. Shocked and grieving Jamie, JJ and Brian asked their managers and employees to stick together with them vowing to live by the values their dad instilled in them. The tragedy happened, but everybody pulled together and we were gonna rise above it. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna make sure we're okay. And, and as the years have transitioned, we figured out what our role is gonna be. Cause like I always said, if something happened to dad, his shoes are way too big for one of us to fill. <laughs> the way I feel about it is I think dad grew us all in different areas that he knew if something ever would happen, that this place would remain successful. It takes three of you to do what he did? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Maybe a few more. <laughs> In the five plus years since the plane crash, John Pagel's legacy has continued to grow thanks to a daughter and two sons, love for him 
in the Ponderosa. There's still a lot of days that are really hard, and uh, but we're making it, and I'm like, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. In Kewanee County with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns.